This is the best I am going to look today. <laughs> Never said that I was gonna make good content. Hi everyone, I am Kieran, and my five o'clock shadow and I decided that this was the perfect time to make a video answering a question I get all the time from my friends and family, and even a lot of the people that I meet here in Korea. Do I like living in Korea? Spoiler warning, yes, I, <laughs> yeah, I do like living in Korea. I think that there's a lot of, uh, this misconception that Korea is so vastly different than America and that life is going to be so extremely hard and it's going to take forever to get acclimated. But to be totally honest with you, I feel like getting acclimated to life in Korea was actually pretty easy. Uh, there's so much influence in Korea by American culture, as well as just the history of Korea and the Korean War, I, I do feel like it's kind of the best of both worlds. There is so much tradition here, so much of that, uh, that culture that we as Americans find so exciting when we learn about an, uh, an Asian country. Korea in particular, but with the influence of Western cultures like America, there's a lot of familiarity here. So it was, and still is this perfect collection of things I already know and new ways and new customs that I'm just beginning to learn and understand and find exciting. Not only that, but the cost of living here is so affordable. I cannot stress to you how cheap it is by American standards, by American standards, just how cheap it is to live here. I've got my gas built right here on my little desk area and it's the equivalent of about six American dollars. Now mind you, um, I do like to be conservative, <laughs> okay? However, I think the most I've ever paid on a gas bill was $17, $20. It's not just with the gas. The water bill is extremely affordable. My electricity bill is very affordable. The highest I've ever paid on my electric bill was about $25. And my rent here also super affordable. It's not just with the cost of living, it's food costs, transportation costs, taxes here. Uh, it, I don't, I can't even find the words to express just how, just how affordable it is to live here in Korea. So my wallet is very pleased. Not only that, but the way that Koreans interact with one another, as well as the way that Koreans interact with foreigners, I just appreciate it. Especially where I'm living here in Daegu, South Korea. I. It's really hard to put my finger on, and it's really hard to find the right descriptive words to really 100% convey what I want to convey. But there is a level of appreciation as well as sort of like a hands-off approach I feel I get the support and the help that I need from native Korean people when I need it. And I'm left alone to do what I need to do when I want that. And not only that, but the way that Koreans interact with other Koreans, I feel like we don't get that same level of respect in America. Koreans have such a sense of pride. They have so much love and respect for their country and for one another. And I'm noticing that especially now with the, excuse me, apparently YouTube doesn't like the word. So um, I'm not gonna say, but we all know what's happening globally. There is so much respect for one another here. People are practicing social distancing. Everyone is wearing a mask. Everyone is washing their hands. Hand sanitizer is everywhere and the verbiage and the the way that people talk about wearing masks in Korea is so different because 
for for example, when I'm on Facebook and when I'm talking to people in America, everyone's talking about wearing masks for themselves and what's it going to do for me? And I don't understand how it's going to protect me. In Korea, everyone talks about wearing masks to protect others. That's just the verbiage. That's how they speak about it. Everyone talks about wearing masks to protect others. That's just one example of the Korean mindset and how people are so respectful here. But there, there's so many other examples of how Koreans really respect one another. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Korean concept of Tong. Tong is a very hard concept for me to still wrap my head around as I'm an American and I grew up in an American culture. But Tong is this idea of Koreans helping others and being generous to others. Whether it be to cook for others, provide gifts for others, maybe you spent a lot of money at their store and they're going to provide you with free gifts. It's something that I really only experienced here in Korea by Korean people, this idea of Tong. And it's so hard to describe using English and, and, and examples that we have in our own culture because the Korean culture of Tong is just so different. But that's another really cool, exciting thing that I'm learning about here in Korea. And one of the reasons I just love to live in Korea. So when I do come back to America, I don't want to say if, I don't know what the future is going to hold for me, but when or if I come back to America, I really would love to kind of learn and, and take the best that uh, Korea has taught me and bring it back and share it with my friends and family. But long story short, yeah, I, I love living in Korea. I really, could see myself settling down here, but at the same time, there's a lot to Korea that makes me miss home. And if you want a video on that, I would love to make one. But everyone who asks about me, asks how I'm liking Korea and, and, and checks in on me, I so appreciate that. I love you guys so much. And I hope this video uh, sheds some light on on what life is like here in Korea, what my life is like here in Korea. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Ask away, let's talk. And if you're interested, I do have some other videos on my channel, some vlogs about travel in Korea, as well as learning Korean. So check them out if you're interested. Again, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.